Brought to you in part by Ortho Georgia, The Sanford Company, Capital Cycle, and Dent Doctor of Macon. With Bill Shanks and Tucker Sargent. Welcome back to our broadcast. I'm Bill Shanks. The Northside Eagles had a bit of a scare two weeks ago when they beat North Cobb 27 to 24. After a week off, the Eagles were ready to open region play tonight in Region 25A. The Evans Knights came into McConnell Talbert Stadium pretty up after blowing out Westside Augusta last week 49 to 7, but they had to deal with Kevin Kinsler's Eagles tonight. Here we go to McConnell Talbert Stadium for the highlights of this game. The Northside Eagles take the field, and here come the visiting Evans Knights. And now in the first quarter, 11 lackey for Evans. Handoff to B.J. Berry for a game. But look at that hit by Octavius Lester right there. Then second down, lackey again from the shotgun. He's going to run it himself for about six or seven yards. But look at that defense for Northside. Third down now, 11 is going to drop back and tries to run. But it's going to get sacked by Octavius Lester again for a loss of yards. Knights would give it back to Northside. Great defense there by the Eagles. The fans are... Really happy because look at that turf. Is that not unbelievably good? First play from scrimmage. He gone. Jalen Sandifer from Tobias Oliver, touchdown. And that made it six to nothing. The PAT would make it, I mean, that looks like a pro, it looks better than the Georgia Dome. Seven to nothing. Eagles on top. Evans gets it back. Levin Lackey again, throws it to Robert Clay for a big pickup, but he's gonna be tackled out of bounds by the Eagles. Lackey again, is gonna run it for himself. And he was a pretty good player for Evans tonight. He's going to get about 20 yards on this play right near here to uh, set up another first down for Evans. Uh, but on this play, next, next play, watch this now. Levin Lackey is back and it's third down. And he's under pressure, scrambling, throws it, and it's picked off by Tay Daly. And he's going to run it back for about 97 yards. I could sing for you right here, but I don't want to run your Friday evening. I'll just let him run. It was a good run, but they called it back because there was a penalty, a flag on the play. They had to bring it back all the way to the seven-yard line. And uh, nice run there. We'll give you credit for that, Daly. But they had to switch sides to the second quarter. Later in the second quarter, the Knights turned it over, and the Eagles took advantage. Tobias Oliver for the, for the touchdown there. This is all north side. 38-7 to the final. Eagles now 2-0. Two two they are at Lakeside Evans next week, and they have a good win there at home in Warner Robins. Now to make it Tattnall hosted Warren County tonight at Jack Baines Field. Here we go, the Trojans looking for their second straight win tonight against the Screaming Devils. Tatnell with the ball on their own 24-yard line, third and nine. Destin Mack, fake handoff. And I think he's gonna go all the way. Yeah, he gone. 76 yards for a touchdown. How about that right there? Point is, point after is up and good after they celebrate a little bit. And it's up, and I told you. Seven to nothing, Trojans out on top. Tatnell now with the ball again. The quarterback, Destin Mack, another fake, but he's going to get it for about 30 yards. He won't go all the way this time, but he is running all over that field tonight. 30-yard gain to the Warren County, 42. Tough running here by Ahmad Barron. Nice player, of course, for Tatnell, and he just won't go down. Watch this little play right here. He gets it. Boom, one hit. Nope, he's not going to go down. Another guy. Nope, not going to go down. Nope, 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 nope. They had five people bring him down. Now watch this, a little pass play here. Mack to Jimmy Marshall. That was pretty right there. Touchdown, Tatnell, point after, made it 14 to nothing. That was the final, believe it or not, 14 to nothing. Trojans win it, they are now 2 and 0. They are at Strong Rock Christian next Friday night. To Fort Valley now, Peach County hosted Perry. You gotta pay attention to this one right here now. This is interesting. Here we go, Antonio Gilbert, Gilbert hands it off to Otha Redding. And watch that hit right there, pretty good. Let's see it again in slow motion. Rock them ribs. <laughs> Surprisingly, it was scoreless after the first quarter in Fort Valley. I'm not kidding. Here we go, second quarter now. Gilbert to Jalen Manuel. Nice pass there for a pickup of about five. Couple of plays later, Gilbert hands off to Redding. And he's going to get inside the 10, five, and almost gets in, but he's down at the three. Next play, Gilbert to Redding again. Pretty good combination there. Is he going to get in? Yeah, he's in there. Touchdown, Trojans out on top. The extra point was no good. So it was six to nothing, Peach County. Woo, that almost cost them right there. And then near the end of the half, Perry is gonna go for the field goal attempt. It's blocked. Watch this. We need the Bad News Bears music for this right here. And I'm not gonna sing it to, for you because I'm too tired. But this thing rolled around forever. Somebody picked that ball up. There's a flag on the play against the Trojans. So Perry would get it. Jay Watkins carries it in. And that was a touchdown. Point after was no good, and it was 66 at the half. 
Believe it or not, Peach County won this game. That's not the surprise, but the surprise was the score. Peach just got by this 13 to 6. Peach down 1 and 1. Perry falls 0 and 2. Trojans host Southwest, Southwest next week. The Perry Panthers are at Macon County. All right, Tucker Sargent's going to join us for our game of the week. Mary Persons in Waco, right after this. You're